All right, home sweet home. Home sweet home. Okay, so we had to build this house up. It was on the verge of being destroyed and Link purchased it for $3,000. So he had to, you know, get all the fixings done, get the doors or whatever, uh, the tree, all of that. Had to fix all of that up. So yeah, let's see what's happened. Still looks the same, but I'm, tr I'm looking at these pictures like, what in the world is that? Okay. What is that? Don't know what that is. Okay, there's a woman uh, standing in the field. Looks like the field of flowers. Who's, whose golden steed is this? Whose golden steed? Whose golden steed is that? All right. Okay, my bed is still here. There's the picture of the champion steel. Okay, we got Zelda's journal read Zelda's, Zelda's journal first page after the calamity I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Haru in search of an answer I saw collapsed buildings lost cities the damage was far worse than I had imagined but as I watched the people and heard their stories I was convinced all was not lost the people's spirit were not broken they and their strong wills are Haru's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. Next page. As part of Haru's reconstruction, we built a school in Hatino Village. It is the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Paris' assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. Next page. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hatino Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house. My house. My house. <laughs> anyway. One that won't appear on the plants. It's dim, but humidity and temperature control, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Next page. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see these sterling members of our community come to this village and take up the mantle as their teacher. <laughs> yes, Zelda then took over. Link got booted out the house, you all. Got booted. Let me see. Let me see. Does his name even still on? Where the sign at? Where is the sign? She now took the sign away. It used to be a sign say Link House. See? See how folks do you? But I guess Link was willing. Sure, princess. Sure, you can have it. You can have it. Yeah. 
she down here in the um in the cut in the well read Zelda's diary though the calamity is over its scars remain a mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild no matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. Now she want to talk about his clothes, y'all. <laughs> That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tonic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. Oh my goodness. A new champion's tunic. What's in the what's in the box seal? She got a well worn hairband. She got a rubber band, y'all. <laughs> An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. Look at this, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. It's a fire. What else she got down here? What are some of them pictures? She got the school. I guess the kids threw her. <laughs> <laughs> Drew her. All right. Well, I guess we will go and get his tunic later. It's a lot I need to explore, so yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to go into that little detail right there. So this is no longer Link's house. It's, it now belongs to Zelda. So yeah, I guess Link has to find his own house again. Because I know she don't have him stand with her. I wonder why is he staying there? Where does Link stay now since, he, since she put him out? Who knows? But anyway. Hello everyone. Game Goddess Fit here. Alright, so we are back with more Tears of the Kingdom. I wanted to go up to the Hatino Tech Lab. Uh, I forgot to go there. Where is it? Is it up this way? Yeah, it's up that way. So let's go up there and see what's going on. I almost forgot about it.
All right, we are here. Latino ancient tick lab. And we have Robbie. Ah, ah what a pleasant morning. Hey. hey, you. The Pyra Pad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get the sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Pyra Pad. This will only take a moment. Oh. One and two and three and four. The sensor reacts when you are close oh. to signs of light that you have not yet visited. As you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the shrine. Done so. Now the sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? Oh. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your pivot pad is reacting to something right there and now. It reacts when you're moving towards a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine, shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? It must be because my creations are perfect unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check down the slope in the direction that the sensor was indicating? It's some forest cave. Artistic shrine, whatever you, however you pronounce it. <laughs> it's a blessing shrine. Can I get rid of? Alright, so we recollected the light of the blessings.
All right, let's go show Robbie what we found. It's a top. Yes, what do you see an old man out walking and assume he's got nothing but free time? I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of the cuckoos that Tamana left in my care is a big part of my day. I thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over at Lookout Landing. Every day I take the cuckoos on a walk up the hill to here. Mm. This laboratory is mostly used by a pair of researchers, Pira and Robbie. Nobody used it for a long spell, but now it seems Robbie's back. Ah. Better find where I put those earplugs. <laughs> Aren't you listening or something, dude? What's going on? Or you just don't want to hear them. My design of the sensor is beyond perfection. Just listen to its sound and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. Oh. What? You found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about this sensor? Handy, huh? I expect nothing less from me. Oh. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Now, you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Now, you begin to see the true potential of the Pira Pad, but I'm nowhere near done yet. I created a new feature for the device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your pair pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then, let's make it truly great. Hey, you. We have more work to do. Your Pira Pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The Pira Pad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also Hero's Path mode. It shows where you traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your Pira Pad will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I need you to gather some test data so I can fine tune my prototypes. Ah. So let's get to work on the pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. Mm, the travel medallion. Ah. The travel medallion feature is quite exceptional and it lets you travel instantly to a gate you established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your Pira Pad for a moment. Oh. Look here, in distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. Oh. I go get it myself, but where it is, that's some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I like to have you with all your great talents. Go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. To speed the journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Hmm, where was that again? Aha, here it is, here it is. All right, he put the um, travel gate there. Ah. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Kakala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Want to hear anything else about my inventions before you rush off? The Pira Pad will grow to its full potential with these extra features. 
Hero's Path Mode. Hero's Path Mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there is a tracking feature installed on the Pirate Pad. Hero's Path, Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need you to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. What? You've got the data? Hurry up and let me see that paper pad. Now give me just a second. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken on your journey, footsteps by footsteps. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay. If you exceed this amount of play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased as new ones are added. Ta-da! Now you'll be able to see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Alright, that's complete. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a moment. Oh. Okay, the details look correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Ah. Here you go, the operation instructions for hero path mode. Now you can review the hero path mode feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Oh. Though you can use Hero's Path Mode now, your Pirate Pad is not yet perfect. It is still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. <laughs> so which feature do you want to add? The Sensor Plus. Excellent. Very good thinking. Being curious about this feature, it allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines. Many more things, that's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the companion, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data, so you need to fill out your comp compendium with at least five types of monsters. It's hard to get data on monsters without putting yourself at risk. You'll need a careful approach or a quiet one. So you could grab their attention any old way you want and snap a picture of, on the fly. Then you'll have your data. Want to hear anything else about my inventions before you rush out? The ah. Pirate Pad will grow to its full potential with these extra features. Ah. But you're leaving already? Well, keep in mind that your Pirate Pad can, truly, can be truly perfect. Alright, I need to... Um, Take pictures of monsters. Oh, chicken. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Alright, so I think I will end it there. Thank you all for watching. And yes, yeah, you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet. I appreciate you will hit that subscribe button. I saw if you're watching and uh, you haven't liked the video. If you don't mind liking the video for me. Yeah, I will talk to you guys on the next one. You all take care.